outside. I hope it's not shaking too bad up there, but it's time for another van vlog veneer day. It looks like I'm going to be pulling up to a red light here soon so I can take a look at the topic. Um, hope everyone's having a great day. Um, what secret conspiracy would you like to start? <laughs> Well, what, I mean, I, I know, I know, Noel, that you, you filtered out this topic. I'm just not certain how to answer that question. What do you mean, secret gets, I mean, I know, I know Noel did not come up with the topic herself. She just filtered it. But I'm just curious, what is a secret conspiracy? I mean, I, I, wow, I don't, I, I think, conspiracies I mean obviously they start controversy and, and although I am an attorney and I, I am a trial attorney and controversy isn't something that uh, that I, I guess I'm immune to or or that I'm um, that that bothers me too much but I it, it seems like this is not a controversy I, I, I think I, I, I want to start. Because, I mean, when you think about it, conspiracies can't be too secret. Um, I guess sometimes they, they, they gain ground because they start off slow. Um, man, i got to think about that for a second. What conspiracy would I want to start? Because, you know, most conspiracies start from controversial um things like whatever the democrats do something republicans do something um and it just it just kind of it's like oh yeah the republicans are doing this because of that and democrats are doing this because of that or even you go even wider than that and it's like i mean my conspiracy i guess you know, in a way is like i think a lot of people in power are pretty much like the same and they're all from like there's something higher than all of that um and i'm not talking from a metaphysical like um it thing like god's high or anything like that which of course I, I believe that but but what i'm getting at is but is that there's a like probably a group like the bilderbergers out there but i, I can't start that conspiracy it already exists so all the good ones that's the thing uh it's really hard to come up with a new idea um, when you really think about it, because most ideas, um, really good ones, have already been, have already been discovered. Uh, I mean, some people used to say, like, Shakespeare, like, all, everything that we, like, stories today all derive from Shakespeare. Um, and I'm pretty certain people have made arguments that Shakespeare derived him stories from, from, um, his stories from other stories and so on and so forth there's really although we can add to the nuances of the stories we've been around for long enough that pretty much any backbone of the story that you're looking at already exists and and i know i haven't answered the question yet but this is me talking and trying to like let my subconscious come up with it with an idea that it's probably not going to come up with um but so these stories they, they they already exist and the idea is when you see a movie or you see a book it's just a new take on the same story i mean how much can we actually you know say and that's not to say that people shouldn't say their stories because i mean when you add your personality to it i, I think that makes it somewhat interesting um you know we've all gone through love and loss and We've all gone through heartaches and um, struggles, or we haven't gone through heartaches and struggles. Um, I feel happy for you, but I mean, eventually one day you are going to go through heartache and, and, and struggle and how you handle it. And um, there's, a story, there's a story to be told there. I think Noel and I have a, a good story to tell. It's not unique. I mean, it's unique to us because it's uh, from our, in a personal way, it's unique to us, but. We've gone through loss and we've gone through struggles, but I'm certain that we're not the only people who have gone through loss and struggles. Um, and so getting back to the whole conspiracy thing, it's, it's hard to come up with a conspiracy because I think, or a good one at least, and I, I think most of them 
have already been um, taken, and that's a cop out. So I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to say that. But and I don't. This is not a conspiracy that I, I want to start. A secret conspiracy that I want to start because I'm certain by the if I say this, someone else has already thought about this. So I was thinking about this whole like flat Earth thing, and um. In, in from the evidence that I've seen so far, I do not believe the Earth is flat. Now, that's from the evidence that I've seen. That's what's been portrayed to me. Now, let me back up a second here. I also want to say, I myself have never been to space. I don't know what it looks like or anything of that nature. So, for all I know, it is flat and everybody else. And it's all, everybody's all together and they're all saying like hey this is this is a flat earth and so on and so forth um and but we're just going to keep a secret from everybody but or or the hollow earth or the sun is fake or space is fake but i want to go off on something that's kind of along those lines and the idea is the conspiracy if you believe or you think that perhaps maybe we're in a simulation then there is uh, I, I would say that if we are in a simulation and the parameters and controls are set by the program, then physics and all that, all that together, um, are somewhat determined by the program. Of course, then you can also say like you could have this matrix type thing going on too, where perhaps maybe there is like a Neo out there or a Superman or, or somebody who could manipulate those parameters and fly and, and all that stuff. But, but what I'm getting at is maybe, just maybe, the true Earth is flat if we are in a simulation. So I'd like to say like the conspiracy that I like to, to start, and I'm pretty sure it's already been started, is you don't know what reality is. And that this, this plane of existence that we live on is just a simulation and and in the end um we don't turning here um and and in the end we only perceive what we think reality is and we like to say okay I can touch it I can smell it I can taste it I can hear it or whatnot but our senses aren't reliable and for all we know this is a simulation and whether or not it's some sort of technical um, thing that there's been a previous civilization that um, that that existed, that came up with advanced technology, and so on and so forth. And, and I find it interesting how some people will say, like, oh, they've studied these ruins, and look how advanced we were in the past. But I, I'd say, and they'd say, like, oh, so we're probably way more advanced now, and therefore there's evidence to think that maybe we were really advanced, and this is just a simulation. But I would think, like, if we were in a simulation, there would be evidence of the, us being in a simulation, because the simulation would probably fall apart if it... It would have to be somewhat realistic. Now, but I, I think, I was thinking the other day, and and I just found it fascinating. I'm born in 1982, so that gives you an age of how, how old I am. Um, and I think how great it is that I'm born right as the technological revolution is really, like, we've kicked things off and we've advanced so much. I mean... But even in my lifetime, oh my goodness, we've advanced so much. Technology and, and, and advancements have just come so fast. And I thought to myself, what if I'm in a simulation? And I don't, I mean, I, I believe my parents were born. I believe they exist. I believe my grandparents existed. But, but if it was a simulation and this was a program and they are programs to a degree. I don't know where the program has natural birth and simulation, but if it is just a program, you know, it's it's definitely, you know, the history's programmed into it too, but I just find it just fascinating how quickly um, technology has advanced. I couldn't imagine living like in, say, like, 1822. 
And that is it. By the way, I'm not saying that I believe this is a program or a simulation. I'm just saying that, like... I feel so lucky, and it's almost too, it's, I, I live in a time that's almost too good to be true, and it kind of makes me think that maybe this is a simulation, um, and maybe it's, part of it is, and you can call it technology, maybe there's some advanced alien race, if that's what you believe, that, that, that's done this, um, maybe it's, it's God, if you believe in God, um, I, I don't know, uh, I mean, some people will talk, you know, ask me these questions like, oh, well, why would God do this? And why would God put dinosaurs on the, the earth? And a lot of that comes down to faith. Is he testing our faith? I don't know. It's God. He can do whatever he wants to. Um, but but I, I think there is the possibility that we're in a simulation. And there is the possibility that, yes, the earth is round in the simulation. But I don't know what the earth is at all in the real world. I know. So... I don't think I came up with a new conspiracy, but what I do think is conspiracy, The this I, when I was thinking about this, because I do think about these things, is I just thought about, like, don't put somebody down because they have some sort of belief or, or whatnot. You, we don't know everything. We don't know exactly what truth is. And just because you think you know what the truth is, and, I, and keep, keep in mind, I do think that we do have to operate in, in, in the world that we live in with a certain amount of truth and, and take it as is. I mean, I mean, I'm not trying to get into this whole postmodern thing like if I believe if the light's red, but I believe it's green, I can drive through it. I'm not saying that, but I'm talking about these deeper beliefs that people have and don't knock somebody because of, of their belief or, or whatnot until, you know, you've I, I guess give them some consideration and, you know, respect them for who they are, but we don't really know. I mean, we, we, we only perceive things in a certain way, and, and truth is, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's really hard to wrap your, your mind around because I, I think we, we, we're so convinced about something, and then we, we have some sort of revelation or perhaps maybe, you know, in my, my belief that, you know, I, I believe God talked to me, and not not physically, but um, you know, moved me in a certain way, and and it changed the way that I felt about things. And I can't portray that to you. I can't like recreate it for you and be like, okay, just stand over here, and wave your hands, and God's gonna talk to you too. But but I mean, it happened to me, and I know it's happened to other people. But I'm just saying that there's this this idea of a um, that you you're so certain in your beliefs and you'll see somebody like that and just one little thing will change or they'll experience something in a certain way and it just kind of it makes them question how certain they are in in, in their beliefs and the idea behind it is it, well I shouldn't say it that way but 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 for all we know it's like I was thinking about this whole like um simulation that's been going around Elon Musk is saying stuff about it as well and I thought, well, maybe, what if we are in a simulation? And then that kind of unravels all of, uh, of how we perceive the world. Um, obviously, in the simulation, you have to function as physics allows, but maybe physics is completely different um, outside of the simulation. Um, maybe there is a heaven, and, and, and there is a God, and when we, you know, he lives in this other realm, and the rules that apply here don't apply there, I, I, I don't know. Um, and I say other realm, I should say, like, maybe it's other dimension or whatnot. Anyways, I don't think I've come up with a new secret conspiracy. So, sorry, it happens. Um, they're not all, like I said, said random topics. I just read and I kind of go off of <laughs> what I've read and they can go anywhere. Um, so, I don't know, I know I probably said a bunch of stuff that's probably wrong because I talked about a bunch of stuff that I could go on for hours and hours about each, like, little things I've talked about, each I could talk for hours about. But I'm not going to do that today, and I'm not going to bore you too much. But but I just encourage you to just kind of think outside of the box um, and don't knock people's beliefs and um, just know that as we grow and as we age... Um, things come to us and um we may change our beliefs from time to time 
So anyways, once again, thank you for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day.